It's time now for the Wall Street Beat. Global funds have been levered to a carry trade that has been unwinding. Certainly since the Bank of Japan raised rates and the Fed kept still. And now the divergence between the rates are widening and it's unclear how much more pain there is to come. And joining us now is Liz McCormick, Bloomberg's chief correspondent for global macro markets. And explain what is happening here with this carry trade that has existed. Because you can say that this is really somewhat of a generational shift as we watch this divergence but unclear how much uh, it has meant for this trade to unwind. Explain the trade. Yeah, well, let's remember the trade is forever. Rates were so low in Japan, for example, and it made sense to borrow in that currency, so in a sense short the yen, and invest where rates are higher, the U.S., Mexico, et cetera. Now, the key to the carry trade, a carry is like you sit there and make carry, interest rate differentials, but the key that it really works to is that volatility is low because if the currencies move against you, you could lose a lot on the currencies, and that's not only like you explained, the yields have started to kind of go the other way, Bank of Japan, raise race just a little but they started and like we can see and you've been talking about how much people are pricing in the feds behind the curve we're going to have these massive over five cuts this year so that rate differential got turned on its head somewhat and volatility people are like heading to the hills like you're talking all these asset classes when mm. you see this route begin it just escalates other things so people are like this carry trade which seemed like the easy trade is no longer. So you start exiting fast and it starts to be self-fulfilling, unwinds and unwinds and unwinds. And I guess that's what we've been trying to get at all morning is kind of understanding the chain of events here. So if I am managing a big multi-asset portfolio and oh my goodness, I have to unwind my carry trade right now, how does that exactly affect other parts of the portfolio? How does that translate into NVIDIA being down double digits? Well, remember, and I think it was the BIS, don't hold me to it, but they did say the carry trade was like expanding to broader things. And Matt, you were we're joking about Nvidia that you know you can hmm. invest where yields are higher in say the U.S. and you could buy stocks. You don't have to be in fixed income. So it seems like it's all building. Now we don't know all the data where these people are, but say they're unwinding this carry trade and some of that money was going into stocks. So that's adding to it. And I think what happens too is it's like a self-fulfilling, right? Um, people say, oh, it's not going to go that far, but maybe I better get out. You know, like you just and it starts to feel that fear. You know, that fear right. concept. So I think it's all kind of breeding on itself. If you take a look at, you know, just a simple yen chart, you can understand why the trade is so attractive, right? Um, it's been weakening, 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 weakening for so long that it made sense. You can just short the yen and use the proceeds from that short to buy NVIDIA because NVIDIA has been climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing. Now, I mean, we saw a dip. You can see this is a five-year chart here. We saw a dip in the yen at the end of 2022. That probably put a damper on carry trades for a while, um, but surely they came roaring back to life. This isn't the end of it, is it? No, and I don't want to date myself, but I've been through a few of these cycles where, you know, the trade works until it doesn't, and then everybody's out, and they call the death of it, and they come back, because yeah. that's just human nature, and it is a good strategy, of course, when it works. So it just... Um, I, I've just seen it so many times, you know, every, oh, it's, it's a over. circle of life. It's a circle of life. Well, I think what people have to understand, this is a form of embedded leverage in the market, and no one knows how far that leverage goes.